Sine and cosine are trigonometry functions which return oscillating values between 1 and negative 1. By feeding the function a climbing value, like time, and setting our ball's y position to the result, it will smoothly travel between the sine range. If we add an offset to our time input, we can begin to observe the benefits sine provides. Cosine yields similar results to sine, but leads by 90 degrees. Where the hell do these degrees come into it, you may ask? Well, let me explain how these values are generated. Meet the unit circle. It's just a circle with a radius of 1. Let's say we input 225 degrees into both our sine and cosine functions. Take note, these functions actually take radians as input, so we have to do a quick conversion. As you can see, by combining both the sine and cosine, we can plot a point on the circumference of a circle. Now, if we once again use time as an input value, it becomes quite apparent how these beautiful waves are generated. Also, take note of how the cosine wave is offset by 90 degrees. It's worth mentioning, you can alter the speed of the wave by simply multiplying the input value. You can also change the amplitude by multiplying the result of the function. Alright, so what can you do with them? Well, you can obviously make waves in circles, but here are a few additional examples. If you want to see more visualizations in the future, subscribe. Also, consider becoming a tarot bro on my Patreon, link in the description. Alright, see you next time.